Lucy Joran actually escaped from us 15 years ago. Correct? Right. Back then we weren't quite as sharp. We were disorganized. Gabrielle never should have let her escape. After 15 years, the child found her. I was impressed by her tenacity. As for the rest, Lucy's just a victim. Like all of the others. It is so easy to create a victim, young lady. So easy. You lock someone in a room with no light. Soon, they begin to suffer. Then you feed that suffering. Slowly, methodically, systematically, coldly, for a long time. You then witness your subject going through several mental states. The mental trauma starts to break them. And that small, easily open crack makes them see things that don't exist in our world. Your friend Lucy, what was her vision? Hmm? Did she see anything? Not even one monster? Did she see things that wanted to hurt her? Hmm? A dead girl. I knew it. A dead girl. The one that you found, Sarah Dutre, saw filthy insects crawling all over her skin. She'd rather cut off her own arm than live with that feeling. People ignore the existence of suffering. That's how our world sees it. Yet everyone's a victim. Martyrs are very rare. A true martyr is a special person. They are exceptional beings. They withstand paralyzing pain, young lady. They can survive total deprivation. They carry all the sins of the world. It's their sacrifice. They transcend themselves completely. Do you understand? They are transfigured. Longsheng province in 1912. She didn't believe in God. She stole a hen. It cost her dearly. In the photograph, you can see she's still very alive. Look at her eyes. Joan Lucette, 1945. This woman was a grocer who slept with a Nazi. Her fellow Frenchman didn't care for that, and so she had to pay. Look at her eyes. She was still alive. 1960, a hospital in Birmingham. Just an ordinary young housewife. An atheist. Riddled with terminal cancer, morphine had lost its effect for her. Her eyes tell the story. Beaten with a pipe by her jealous husband after his release from prison. Crushed in a car wreck from which he couldn't be pulled out. A leukemia victim in her final moments alive. Suffering excruciating pain from a rare disease. 17 hours of mind-numbing agony. Starving to death after two years. And you know every one of them was the same. Each one of them was still alive when they were photographed. No one can try to tell me that the concept of martyrdom was strictly an invention of the religious. We tried everything, even with children. And we've proven that it's women that are much more responsive to transfiguration. Yes, young women. That's how it is.